So uh, just, just tell us how you, how you guys feel going into the, this game. Uh, we feel confident, even though we had a little upset up there when they, uh, you know, beat us pretty handily. But um, we've been playing well the last couple games, so we have confidence. I know a lot of guys, you know, before they play, you know, they see their roster on paper and, 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 and they're shocked about how many guys they have that are so good. But now I think that guys aren't afraid of them. You know, they got to guard us and defend us too. So I feel like everybody's confidence is pretty high, and that's one thing you need when you're playing a team like that is to not be afraid and have great confidence. The last couple of games were close games, and you guys come through in the crunch time situations. What does that do for a team's confidence going into a big game like this? Um, that just means that when we're, you know, pretty much in the conference, everybody is good, and everybody's going to have great games, and all the games going to go to the wire. So that gives us great confidence knowing that we can win basketball games in, in the clutch and against good teams. So it definitely doesn't give us a shocker that when we're in those positions that we can win basketball games. So everybody's happy. And we don't want to be in those situations, though. So <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to be in those. This could be your last shot at U of A. I mean, uh, how important is it to go out with a big W over the rival? Um, well, I hope not. You know, we hope to see them in the Pac-12 tournament and the tournament. So I'm looking forward to playing them two more times after this. So, But um, definitely I want to beat them at home. You know, I haven't done that. So beating them at home and having the fans rush the court is something that can be memorable for all of us. Jordan Machinsky, you know, could use a big game out of that guy. I mean, obviously a huge playmaker, Pac-12 player of the week. But zero points last time you guys faced him down in Tucson. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, basketball is up and down. You know, sometimes guys are playing great and sometimes guys aren't playing as good. So right now his confidence is on on the cloud nine, and I'm trying to give him even more confidence. So I think he's going to come out. I think he's flushed away all the negative stuff, all the negative things that's been said about him between us and, and the press. So he's, pre he's doing pretty good. And I'm, I'm feeding the basketball. That's what we got to do is give him the basketball. That always gives people confidence. And Jermaine Marshall, getting him back, how important is that? Um, definitely, yeah, you know, and he never lets anything affect him. He's a veteran out there. He's an older guy, a mature guy, so he's always going to come through in the clutch for us. Talk about Arizona's perimeter defense between Nick and, and TJ. Back yeah, they're pretty good, but I think we got one that's pretty good too, and they got to guard us as well. And you know, last time I had one of my running mates out, so they didn't get to see him. But um, this time we're going to come full threat for him. We're going to see how they can defend us this time. How excited are you about the sellout, the crowd? Always, always. Whenever there's a good crowd, I think that always gives us a lot of energy and a, a huge confidence booster because it's kind of like a, a sixth man. You know, they can always the fact the, uh, the, the guys on the free throw line and it always gives us that much more energy. So it's definitely good to have a sellout crowd, especially in Wells Fargo. How, how different of a team you think they are with, without Brandon Ashley this time around? Um, whenever you got a guy that scores and rebounds and does that much on the floor for you, it definitely changes the game for them. But um, I think they're a good team, and I think that they're not letting that distract them in any way. But um, we're going to definitely try to use lies to our advantage. When you became a Sunday, was this the kind of game you were looking forward to, this kind of moment, national stage, big, you know, that, that kind of thing? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, we've played them now three times since I've been here, and I haven't won one. So it's about time I get one to, to, to separate myself from, you know, Losing all four. I can't, I can't go out like that. So I'm hopefully we're going to get this one.